Hey ma, What's that? let's slide. All right. All right, and we gon' get it on tonight. You smoke, I smoke, I drink. Me too. Well good, 'cause we gon' get it high tonight. Got drops, got, got trucks. Got All right, 'cause we gon' take a ride tonight. So my right, guys, let's slide. what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is titled "My Current YouTube Vlogging Setup." So if you've come here to find out exactly what I use to make my YouTube videos, we're well, actually gonna have to wait a few minutes because what this video is made with is my current YouTube vlogging setup. Not only camera, tripod, microphone, but also laptop and well that's really all you need. So with that said, I thought we'd take, just before I do get to today's date, I thought we'd uh, go in chronological order and take a little bit of a, a walk down memory lane. You know, because reality is, is that with the progression of my YouTube channel from zero subscribers to a hundred to a thousand, and now to nearly 10,000, along the way, my equipment has improved as well. You know, I was never gonna go and buy a camera like this when I had zero subscribers. I didn't even know about a camera like this. I didn't know about content creation. The amount I've learned along the way is just unbelievable. I have, and you know, that's what I think when I'm sitting here some nights, you know, busting my ass on, on editing these videos and thinking, fuck, is, am, is anyone even gonna view these? You know, is, does anyone really care? But at the end of the day, I think to myself, you know what, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All of this that I'm doing, all of this work, all this hustle is all knowledge. It's all expanding my knowledge base and it's only gonna help. It's an investment in myself. Okay, and the greatest investment you can ever make is in yourself. So, before I go on too much, because I do have a habit of doing that. When I first started watching YouTube, I had no idea about the fitness community. I had no idea it even existed. In fact, when I first started YouTube, it probably didn't exist. So, when I first started watching, I had no thoughts of becoming a creator. I had no thoughts of having my own YouTube channel. So, at that point, I used it to basically just sit up late at night and watch random shit. Just like a lot of you guys do. So, I was watching top 10 worst plane crashes, top 10 worst, you know, police chases, shit like that. Shit that would keep a teenager up at night watching videos, you know, entertaining stuff. So before long, I found the fitness community. In my normal day-to-day -day life, I was getting into the gym, I was, you know, training more, and YouTube seemed like the natural place to type in exactly what I wanted to find out and, and watch some videos. So that's what I did, and I started seeing people like the Hodge Twins, I started seeing people like Louis Marco, Matt Ogus, um, Chris Jones, you know, all of these people that have been around since like 2010, 2011, I started watching them when they pretty much first started. So I've seen I've seen the fitness community, or the, especially the YouTube fitness community, come along the way, along the years. And here we are today, it's 2018. And I am in the fitness community myself, you know, so that's, that's pretty cool. Anyways, the first video I made was a rugby tutorial video. I woke up one morning, I thought, you know what? My phone's actually got a pretty decent camera. Why don't I go down to the field, set it up, no microphone, no, no fucking notes, nothing like that. Just set it up and start talking to the camera. I know I've got a message to give, I just need to try and give it. And it was so hard, it's so hard to get yourself in front of that camera the first time. And it's so hard to hear your voice over and over again, and it's hard to edit yourself and blah blah blah. But once you get used to that, once, once you get over that first hurdle of putting out your first video, and you actually get some views, and you actually get some good feedback, don't have paralysis by analysis. And what that is, is basically knowing that you've got something you really want to do, but you're never going to do it because it's not going to be perfect enough. You're always thinking, oh, this person's done it like this, oh, it's not, you know, I didn't say the right thing there, or the intro's not good enough, or, you know, the camera's not good enough, anything. There's so many excuses, guys. And the beauty of YouTube is, fuck the excuses. You know, anyone can put anything up there that they want. If you're that concerned about the reaction turn off the comments turn off the like and dislike feature you know if you're that concerned but reality is guys if you're ever gonna make it if you're ever gonna make a good go of YouTube you need to bury any 
worries that you have about what anyone else thinks of you. You really do. I mean, trolls come along. Trolls come along. I've got a pretty decent like to dislike ratio on my channel, but I still get the trolls. And if I have put out a video that I've, I've spent a shitload of time on and I really, really think it's a good one and it should be received well, to get a trolling comment, it fucking, it's annoying, man. It really, it starts to bring you down. And if you've got that day in, day out, Jeez, I don't know how some people get through it. You know? Anyways, once again, I've actually rattled on way too much. We're gonna go back to that day, that fateful day back in 2012, where I woke up, grabbed my phone, went down to the field. I actually set it up against a shoe, I believe, just like this. Walked out in front of it and started talking. So let's have a look at that. Hey guys, how you doing? Today I just thought I'd um, give you a little bit of a tutorial step by step um, on how to do a drop kick. Now drop kicks can be used in rugby union, in rugby league, uh, for various amounts of points. But basically they're a good skill to use, a good skill to know. Um, gameplay situation is a lot different than at practice, I'll tell you that much. Uh, so it's really important to get the three fundamentals down um, and then hopefully it goes well. So on that day I actually took two videos. One I put out that day and it took me about three more months to put out the second one because I was just too scared. I, I didn't want people to be negative. I didn't want people to critique me. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing at that point. So it was scary. And it took me another three months to put out my second video. And funnily enough, guys, it took over a year after that for me to put out my third video, which was a fitness related video. Now, at this point, I had watched Louis Marco, explode. I'd watch Chris Jones, explode. I'd watch the Hodge Twins, explode. I'd watch all these guys do so well in the YouTube space. And I thought, you know what, it's my turn. So I started a cut. I started my first ever proper cut to get lean, to get shredded. And that started in February of 2014. So right now I'm gonna take you back to that. What's up guys? Well, as you can see by the title of the video, and if you're lucky enough to have clicked on it, um, this is the start of my fat loss journey, weight loss journey, whatever you want to call it, cutting up, getting shredded, etc, etc. Um, I've been personally thinking about, you know, I, I get inspiration daily um, from YouTube fitness community, various different pages, I could I could list them all here, but you know, there's too, probably too many to list. Um, I watch and are subscribed to quite a few um, and you know what for a while now I've been thinking about sort of putting my face out there and uh, seeing if I can inspire anyone or you know at least um, at least put something out there so that in time I can look back on it and see where I'm at see if I've achieved those goals that I wanted to achieve so basically this is the first video of I don't know how many, it might be my first, might be my last, um, but yeah, I'm going to put it out there for you guys to see. Now at that point, I was still just using my phone, just using the front facing camera, that's all I had, that's all I needed. At that point, I might have had 50 subscribers, I didn't know who was going to watch, I didn't know where I was going to end up, who does know? But that was at the start of 2014, and so four years later, here we are today. I've got 10,000 subscribers, I've got a whole lot of camera equipment. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I got, when, and why. So let's start. The first thing was the phone, okay? That's what I started with. Anyone who was, who was out there wanting to get the perfect shot, the perfect video, like I said, don't be paralyzed, don't be paralyzed by... <laughs> don't be paralyzed by analyzing too much, all right? Use this, use whatever you've got. It's going to be good enough. As long as it's 720p, you don't want to be under 720p because that's somewhat of HD. You do want to give a, a high quality image. If the person that's watching wants to, to watch it in that, that's very important. So I kept using my phone. I kept using you know things to prop it up against. The next purchase that I made was a tripod. And the reason I did that was to give me give me some you know better angles, especially with my rugby tutorial videos. I was sick and tired of having to put my camera up against things or you know find a spot where I could sit my camera or sit my phone um, I was sick of it because it was really limiting where and when I could do these videos so I bought this tripod and I went smack bang in the middle of the field put my camera on it at that time I actually bought my first 
uh, recorder, voice recorder. So my bright idea was to go to the shop, buy the tripod, buy the recorder, have a microphone running up my top so it was here so that I could be far away from the camera and still have perfect sound. Well, you know, I gave it my best shot. This is how the sound turned out. What is up? What is up, everyone? We're down here at the field. This is my local rugby union training field. My rugby league training field is over that way. But today is a Saturday and of course games are going on. So I've just sneakily come down here in the morning and I'm going to make part three of my rugby skills tutorial video series. So I actually started this series about three years ago, man. A long, long time ago. This was my first ever YouTube video. It was a rugby skills tutorial one. And um, you know, I've come a long way since then. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, I've got over 200 videos on YouTube now. I'm proud of what I've achieved, what I've what I've made. But um, I think it's about time to go back to my back to my roots, back to my back to what I know best, you know, which is rugby. So as you would expect, I got trolled because of that, and um, that put a bit of a dampener on my YouTube vision and my YouTube. Uh, you know, determination, and I took another break. Alright, right. and we gon' get it on tonight. You smoke, I drink, drink. well done, cause we gon' get it out tonight. Got drops, got drugs, alright, cause we gon' take a ride tonight. So, my, what's up? Let's slide, alright, alright, and we gon' get it on tonight.